Hey, this is Robert Pettyjohn here at our shop. We're getting things ready to clean a bunch of rugs tomorrow. You can see all the rugs that we have here right ready to go. One of the things we also have at Pettyjohn just really helped us out an awful lot, and that we carry that at Pettyjohn Solutions, by the way, is this steamer. You can see what we're doing by the steamer. It's just a little small unit. It's on a portable cart that can roll. I've got about 25 or 30 feet of the extension cord here plugged up and 30, 40 feet of this hose. Just take my word for it that this will roll just about anywhere I want to put it within the, the local area here. I want to show you a couple of things that we do with this steamer. Uh, number one is you'll see we've got a little braided rug here. Every now and then on a braided rug you get a bunch of mess that happens in between these little rows uh, of uh, uh, of threads here. So this steamer helps us to blast that mess out between here. Now this one doesn't have it on here, uh, but I just want to show you something how, how this thing works. I've also got a rug, one of our cadavers that a customer brought to us and it was beyond hope. So I said let us, uh, he donated it to science anyway. And uh, I've got some solution on this rug. I'm going to show you how this steamer will help acceler accelerate a, uh, the bleaching action to remove some of the dyes that have migrated onto a rug. This steamer, by the way, has got two uh, primary application tools. Number one is a, a wide tip that, that spews out a pattern like that. And the other one is more of a pinpoint tip that you can see against the background of this black cube. That allows me to get a good pinpoint accuracy when I'm doing a rug like this braided rug where I want to get right there on it. See, water is a universal solvent. And what I'm doing is I'm using the universal solvent to help clean some... I can stand it about that far away from it. But this is 212 degrees live steam at a pinpoint accuracy right here. So let's see what's going to happen where I put this solution on here to help reach the filter. I'll tell you, this is pretty severely messed up, but you can tell it begins to work. 